All right, just an update what? here, video here, grab. YouTube. I got two Kirby's. Um, let's start things off with the Centria. I got two, actually three belts. Um, so I have two extra belts for the Kirby's. And I one of those belts is here, but I got a brand spanking new brush hole for my Centria. Please, you can't let Raptors win, can you? So there's that. Because it's older brush hole here. The bristles weren't wearing down at all. They were just getting soft. Yeah. And then on my Avalanche. Yeah, go ahead. Um Look, check out this clean uh, All right, see you, spin shaft. I can probably get out too. Got it clean. Um, I'll, I'll, the guy I'll uses this thing I'll that helps it get cleaned up. Real nice. That's not a brand new fan. He just cleaned up the shaft. And then, look at that clean, sparkly clean brush. Well, not sparkly, but clean brush roll. Um. This is a clean brush hole. There's a little bit of stuff I missed there. But, I mean, that, that Mike Avalier's brush hole used to look like this. It used to look like that. But, um, the guy let me take some 4.0, I think it was, steel wool. And I just went over all the black spots with it after cutting off all the hair. And it's amazing about what that stuff can do to it for this brush roll. It's completely clean. And then when I got this, um, these things were as stiff as crap. I could not move these with my bare hand uh, or finger. Um, but now I just we just put some lubricant in there. I think they're still somewhat wet. Just put some lubricant in there. And they're moving just fine now. No problem. Which is pretty good. Um, put some lubricant in this one. Um, but, yeah. So, looks like a brand new brush hole inside my Avalier. In fact, the vacuum center guy, well, I'm sure you all saw on YouTube of a video by now of the brand new Avalier that vacuum center guy had, you know. So we kind of work together. He does stuff for, I do stuff for him. He does stuff for me and it all works out well. So there's my update and see ya.